Hey everybody, Mark Expect the Comics and I'm back. This time I got a couple of contest wins. I'm going to open up. If you're interested in seeing what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, Got a couple of contest wins that I've won probably in the last week or so. Um, I'm going to open these up. Excited to show you what's inside. And um, like I said, a couple of contest wins. One is fully stacked here with comics. And I think this one's a t-shirt. So let's open up the t-shirt first. Um, ended up winning this contest on 22 Comics' channel. So I'll put down links to uh, both channels in the description so you guys can um, check out their channels and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel too if you haven't already. You know, slowly growing there. We're getting closer to the uh, 1,000 mark. And um, the quicker we get there, the more, uh, you know, giveaways we start doing along the way. So, um... Here's the uh, t-shirt that I ended up winning from 22 Comics. It came with a nice little note. It says on here, Congrats, David, on winning the hashtag Give Me Medium Drawing. Hope, though, this shirt finds you well. Also know this is a one of a kind. <laughs> As I didn't like the fit of this shirt, all the other shirts in my store will be a different type. Thank you for your support and comments. Have a good one. A little swag from my podcast. And you got a little comically comics. This little sticker. And uh, with these stickers, I usually just add them all to my uh, short boxes of any stickers I get from the community. So that's really cool. Here's the t-shirt. It says 22 comics. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um... He said he didn't like the design, but I think this is cool. It's nice and simple. And uh, it will go, go with my, my little collection of shirts that I have as well from the uh, community. So thank you on that. And now we're going to open up the other package. This one came from uh, Mike from Night Tiger. Ended up winning, uh, I believe it was one of his secret contests he does from time to time. Where uh, basically... You watch one of his videos and then in somewhere in the video he inputs like a secret, you know, like hashtag code word. And uh, you have to usually watch the videos till the end because he typically puts them at the end, but not always. And uh, it ended up winning this uh, contest. I won one of his before too, which I think I did a few months back when it was the G.I. Joe number one. Um, I forget what was the comics and these. Well, this is like a full, full-on medium flat rate box that's full of comics. Uh, so this should be, uh, and uh, also has a nice little note in here from uh, Night Tiger. It says, Dave, congrats on the winning. My most recent secret contest in here is a great stack of Marvel Bronze Age goodness. I also gave you a box of extra goodies. Read them, collect them, or pass them along. Your brother in comics, Mike, a.k.a. Night Tiger Comics. So, thanks. Really, man. something in here to open up and check out. All right. So, not only do we got comics, we got a little bit of swag in here too. So, <laughs> I'm gonna open up this first. All right. Oh, this is hilarious. All right. So, uh, the first thing I got came from uh, Spencer's. So, uh, I don't know if you guys have Spencer's around you, but we do have some here in New England, and it's a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog socks. So this is cool. Uh, this is obviously, it fits adults, but uh, when my son sees these, he's going to love these. So uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And uh, all right. I don't think there's anything else in here besides that. So now it's just uh, the comics. All right, cool. So like I said, a full on medium flat rate box full of comic books. So uh, first one. We got Marvel Universe Free. This is a, is this a calendar or a comic book? I'm not sure. Uh, but this is cool. 
I like this. All right. And uh, Mike has quite the uh, quite the collection, so I'm sure whatever he sends over, I'm probably not going to have most of these, so we'll see. Next one up, Superman 138. Meet the Master of Reality. Nice. A little Dan Jurgens. Superman 196. And uh, if there's some, I know I recently saw um, Bearded and Cole's uh, comic challenge for this month of November. It's going to be fighting comics. So if there's any cool fighting comics covers on here, I'm going to try to add on here as well. Because uh, I do have quite the uh, collection of fighting comics. But if there's something in here that catches my eye as well, I'll add it on to the list. So the next book up is uh, Superman, issue number 660. All right, Superman issue number 651. The Mighty Thor versus Odin, issue number five. It's like a full on headshot. We got The Return of Tarzan, issue number 222. This one definitely got some. Uh, Fighting scenes on here. This is a potential contender right here. A little Bronze Age book. We got um, Spider-Man issue number six. And uh, this looks like a little cover homage to uh, Spidey 100. Next book up. Spider-Man. Issue number five. Oh, this is from the same run. Okay, Marvel Knights. Might get. Let's see if we get a little run here going. Nope. We got uh, Electra. Issue number two. And uh, none of these so far I have. And um, we got Ultimate Marvel Team Up. Issue number two. Featuring Spider-Man and Hulk. Uh, next one up from DC, we got Superpowers, issue number one of six. This is a cute little cover. I like the cartoony style. That's pretty cool. All right. We got The Return of Spot. Ah, here we go. This is a ASM issue number 589. And I know Spot has a little bit of a spec going on right now. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 588. Oh, there's another one. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 2. This is from the um, Dance Slot Run. Okay, cool. What we got next? Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 6, from that same... Dan Slot Run. Oh, we had to get some uh, 90s um, image on here. This is Wildcats, issue number 11. Uh, this is a Jim Lee cover. Next one up. Ooh, this is cool. All right, we got a cover list here. Uh, New Adventures of Charlie Chan. Um, what issue is this? Oh, issue number three. This is it's a Silver Age. This is from 1958. There you go. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, this is great. We had we had to get some uh, some some Jack Kirby goodness in here. This is uh, Captain Victory and the Galactic Rangers, issue number seven. You can definitely tell from that artwork that that's uh, King Kirby. Uh, oh, there you go. Cable number one. Definitely a book you got to have if you're a X-Men fan. Cable number one. We got, oh, we got another 12 center. This is Army War Heroes, issue number, I think that's 14 or 19. I can't really tell. Nice little action shot here. 
and it says Mama's Boy. Don't miss Mama's Boy. <laughs> he knows I like the uh, the war covers as well, so that's pretty cool. Oh, we got a Web of Spider-Man, issue number 103, and this is part of the uh, Maximum Carnage run. This is uh, issue number, uh, part 10, part 10 of the uh, Maximum Carnage run. Nice cover as well. Uh, another tw uh, 12 center, and this is Kid Cult Outlaw, issue number 127. I like that. Iron Mask and the Circus of Crime. Next one up. Oh, yeah, we got to get some Luke Cage. This is uh, Luke Cage, issue number, oh, Power Man, issue number 32. Um, up oh, X Men Gold issue number one. This book I do have. Yep, I remember when this uh, there was an X Men Gold, Red and Blue, and then they they merged. I think it was right around issue thirty or something like that. I remember that when that series came out. Uh, Superman, issue number forty one. This is Truth. This is uh, uh, J R J R cover. Superman, Man of Steel, issue number 57. Ooh, I'm digging this. And uh, if you see why on here, DC Universe label. Nice. That's cool. Um, oh, this is a cool cover. All right. This is definitely um, a keeper. Superman, Man of Steel, issue number five. Says Curse of the Atomic Skull. Nice little skull cover there. You got a nice little uh, film strip going around um, Superman. And I think this is really cool too is the uh, barcode says this end up. It's sideways, where typically it's upright, like you would see on. Uh... So that's really cool. I have yet, that's the first time I've seen um, uh, a 90s barcode that was that way. Facing that way, says this end up. That was pretty cool. Uh, Superman, issue number 673. <laughs> this is a, that's a, an ugly cover. That's funny. Superman, issue number 668. There's another one with that character on. I'm not familiar with that character. All right, what we got here? Oh, we got another uh, partially torn cover. We got, uh, oh, let me have to open this up. This looks like it may be a uh, golden age. Let me take a quick look. Uh, looks like it is Western Comics. I, I like how Mike, he, he always writes the, uh, the notes in the back. That's awesome. Western Comics, issue number 32. This is from... Uh, Patchwork Publishers, 1951. Um, so if you're not familiar with these, what they would do these back in the day is if it wasn't sold, they would actually rip off the top and send it back, um, I believe, to uh, get some credit on it. Uh, but I don't know if they did that back in the 50s, though, so I'm not sure. Usually they did that in the 70s and 80s. But this is definitely um, Golden Age um, cover art by Mort Leave. That's pretty cool, though. I'm liking that. Well, I took a quick glance at the next book. I think that also is probably Golden Age as well. So he knows I like my Golden Age. We got, I believe this is, yep, it is. So this is cool. So another, oh, it's a Char, Charles Biro cover. This is Crime Does Not Pay, issue number 71. And uh, nice little cover there. Got a little bit of action going on there with the officers, you know, investigating this uh, criminal inside the, uh, the train. Uh, so this is from uh, 1949. 
and um, yeah, just a cool like crime cover. And it looks like it was owned by Robert at some point. And uh, getting down to the last few here. Actually, no, we got more. Okay. Oh, little Captain Savage and his Battlefield Raiders, issue number nine. Nice little Silver Age book. All right. Oh, this is a good one. DC Universe versus Masters of the Universe, issue number one. Nice little book. Definitely got some action going on there. All right. Convergence, Aquaman, issue number one. Definitely not a fan of that cover. I don't think uh, Aquaman is drawn the best there. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Convergence, Suicide Squad, issue number one. There you go. I've got a couple of number ones. Next book up. Oh, nice. Some Defenders. Defenders, issue number 22. This is definitely a cool fighting cover. I might have to add that one to the list. That's nice. Let me know if you guys agree. Definitely a, a nice action cover. Um, here we go. Daredevil, issue number 140. All right. Next book up. Ooh, nice little uh, Bronze Age horror. We got House of Mystery, issue number 222. I'm liking that. Next one up. Nice. More Kirby. Uh, Eternals, issue number 14. Oh, here we go. Some more um, Bronze Age. We got Unexpected, issue number 193. Got a nice little skull cover there, too. There you go. Liking that. All right. Next one up. What if Daredevil become, uh, became an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue number 28? I think I might have this book, too. Oh, saw some floating heads cover. This is uh, Defenders, issue number 26. Oh, all right, we're getting down to the last four, right? Yep. We got Marvel Chillers featuring Tigra. This is um, issue number six. This is actually a fun series if you haven't read the, um, the Marvel Chillers. All right, we got Witching Hour, issue number 40. There you go. This is from uh, March of 1974. This book I do have. This is actually a great book. This is What If Electra Had Lived, issue number 35. And it's um, uh, Frank Miller artwork. And that was it. That's the uh, That was the last book. So, uh... I was one massive stack of books um, from winning a Night Tigers competition contest. And uh, I want to also thank um, 22 Comics for the contest win on the uh, t-shirt. So that was really cool. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, it was some pretty, pretty cool stuff in there. So uh, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.